Hey dreamers, my name is Sophie, aka Tam, French with a Vietnamese background. Welcome to the Tam Show, where courage is key. By watching the interviews, you will learn what school doesn't teach you. I show you all the actual hard and real in-between process that shape it brave, inspiring entrepreneurs. You will know what to do to start and accomplish your idea or project. Get ready, guys. So now let's go deeper in the conversation yeah. to get to know you. Okay. Um, what is your dream job? Do you have any dream that you want to realize? Is now uh, your teaching thing, is it your calling? Or do you know, you know that you want to do something else? Mm, that's interesting. My mom is a teacher, was a teacher. She's retired now. And when I thought about teaching, similar to the YouTube, I thought, I don't know if I can do that. It's something scary. Mm -hmm. Me being in front of a class of mm -hmm. 25 year olds, having to control the class mm -hmm. with no experience before, I was thinking, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that, but I arrived and I started teaching. And after the first two weeks, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And in the three years after, I still feel the same way. I love teaching so much. Mm -hmm. It's, I would say that teaching is my calling. Yes. However, my calling and my dream job, I think are different. Okay. Because I would love to have this YouTube channel full time. Mm -hmm and to make the content that I want to make and to really not just inspire people watching, mm -hmm. but lift up mm -hmm. the lives of the people in the videos. Okay. So that if someone's in my video, maybe that will help them open a door to something that will improve their life. Nice. For example, if there is a comedian on my channel, mm -hmm. maybe their comedy gets more exposure yeah. through being on my channel. That's something that I really want to do. Mm. So my calling is the YouTube. Nope, sorry, my calling the is the teaching. Yeah. And my dream job is to become, to have a YouTube channel where I can work full time on these videos and really do the content that I want to do. Yeah, well, okay, nice. But I need you to subscribe <laughs> so that I can make those videos. <laughs> Because I need subscribe, I need people watching the videos, so yeah. yeah. And from all the knowledge that you have mm. up to date, from all the things that you accumulated, uh, do, is there something that you wish you would have known before? I think one thing that I wish I would have known, and it's something that I did know, but I didn't realize the power of mm -hmm. doing the thing that scares you first. So yeah. I would always put off the thing that scared me the most and do the easy things first. Mm -hmm. But once I realized that doing the things that scare you gives you the most rewarding feeling at the end, mm. then I started doing the scary things first. For so, I've, for so long, so much of my life, mm. I put off coming to Vietnam to teach. Ah, so you wanted to even come before? Yeah, I did my teaching certificate in 2009. I didn't come until 2016, 2016. Yeah, exactly. So what did you do in the meantime? I just lived just my life, living yeah. Just, just living your common life. Just living my life. In, yeah. I lived in Canada and I moved back to England just mm. in trying to do the best I could. Yeah. But I knew that at some point I wanted to teach, But like I said, it was so scary, the idea yeah. of being in front of that class. So it wasn't until kind of some friends of mine from England went to China. Mm -hmm. They taught, they came back and told me all these amazing things that I was like, mm, maybe it's time to jump, yeah. you know, and to not be scared anymore. Mm -hmm. So the, th the main thing I learned is to do the scary things. Yeah, as long as it's safe <laughs> to do the scary things that kind of like you really want to do, but you're scared of failing, just yeah. do it. And if you fail... And if you fail, it's okay, because the, yeah. 
faster you fail, yeah. faster you succeed. Exactly. So exactly. you need to fail first. Yeah. You cannot succeed like directly. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, if you would gain an ability or a quality, mm. like tomorrow, mm. which one would you choose? I thought a lot about that already, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I would, oh, it's difficult because I would love, have you seen the movie Limitless? I don't think so. Basically, he takes a drug and <laughs> the drug, when he takes a drug, he is able to learn oh, anything. Well, yeah, his yeah. brain capacity goes to 100. Yeah. Um, so we could learn anything. Mm. I would love the ability to have that memory where I could listen to a language and then learn it so quickly. Oh, about language. Yeah, so nice. I, I would love the ability to have like a super good memory. But mm -hmm. at the same time, charisma is the one thing that if I could gain an ability, you know those people oh, that yeah. enter into a room and they're That's like... charismatic. Yeah. Have an aura or something. Yeah, exactly. I would, I'd like to walk into a room and have an aura. That would be amazing. You have an aura already. No, not like a... Not, I have an aura, but not like an aura. You know? Someone walks into, someone you speak to and someone you walk into a room and then everyone's smiling. Yeah. I would love to have that. But this is, I think, easy to work on. Yeah, you can work on it. But I also think yeah. that it's something that develops when you're young mm. as well. It's very difficult to go from someone who's shy to someone who has that aura. Mm -hmm. I think it's quite a natural characteristic. Mm. And I have it a little bit. But I would like to have it like turn it up to 100. Yeah, turn it <laughs> yeah. like tomorrow and like, Maximum okay. <laughs> charisma. That would be amazing. But yeah. But that's something I think that you can work on it and to oh, also yeah. improve. Like, but more for the language thing, mm. that's funny. So, how many languages would you like to, to know? I to sometimes learn? like fantasize about being able to speak all the languages mm -hmm. in the world and just traveling around. And just like being able to communicate fully with everyone in the world, I think that yeah. that would be amazing. But I mean, I can speak one language now, so I'm a long way away from being able to do that. But it'd be amazing. Don't worry. Yeah, no, you speak three languages. That's that's amazing. I can speak one, and then I can say maybe two or three words in like five different languages. But that's about it. Oh, it's okay. It's, you can learn. Don't worry. Yeah. I can teach you French. I'd, I'd learned French at high school. Don't really remember too much. Um, I speak a little bit of Vietnamese, enough to get by. And then like Japanese, Spanish, Korean, it's like two or three words. Yeah. But I would love to learn a language. I've never had the discipline. Yeah. I always start and then one month later I, I move on. Yeah, you really need to be okay, disciplined and take time for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. I did with Vietnamese, I was learning Vietnamese with a tutor, mm -hmm. but what I found with Vietnamese was that you cannot make one single mistake. Yeah. If you make a mistake, the person does not understand. And it becomes another word. Exactly, and there's so little room for mm -hmm. error that when you're learning, it's, it's so frustrating to mm -hmm. learn because when you speak English, if you say a word incorrectly, mm -hmm. Most English speakers can understand what you were trying yeah, to say, guess. yeah, but mm -hmm. in Vietnamese, because it means a whole different word, mm -hmm. it just throws the listener off so much. Mm -hmm. And as a speaker trying to learn, it's, it's, it just hits so many walls mm -hmm. that it becomes, you have to be really, really, really disciplined to learn Vietnamese, yeah. more so than other languages. Yeah. Yeah. So many tones and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to say spicy for three years uh -huh. and I still say it wrong. Spicy is gay. Come gay. 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 I say it with a G. I say with a G sound. Come gay. 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 I don't know. Gay. I say more kai. Yeah. But like people teach me with a G sound gay. Like guy. Like hey guy. Guy. And then I say come gay. And they're like. Hmm? And then I say, come gay, come gay, come gay, come gay. I try the different <laughs> tones. And then after like a few, two minutes, I'm like, ah, oh, come gay. And I'm like, 
Yes, I just said that ten times. Why? It's like they they'll they'll say the correct word back to you, and you're thinking, yeah, I just said that word. Yeah. How am I saying this wrong? Mm -hmm. So so many of those in instances mm -hmm. led to me led me to thinking that maybe this language is something that is above my ability <laughs> level. Yeah. Okay. Um... Do you have any good thing that you input in your everyday life? In Coffee. Your everyday life that puts oh. you in good condition. Coffee. Okay. Coffee. Coffee. Well, Vietnamese coffee? No, not Vietnamese. Uh, as long as it's well, not Vietnamese coffee in the Cafe Suda. Mm -hmm. Too sweet, too strong. Mm -hmm. Coffee gives me, gives me life. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, being creative mm. gives me life. Doing something where I can be creative and have those creative juices flowing, yes. where I'm making something. I like that. I'm very bad at art. I can't draw. Design. I'm bad. I, I try to learn guitar. I'm bad at music. <laughs> Writing, I'm good. Mm. But I want to, even though I'm bad at a lot of things that normal people consider creativity, like art mm -hmm. and music, I still wanted to have my creative voice. Mm -hmm. Right now, the videos I make are my form of creativity. Mm -hmm. It's not too original, but I see these videos as a doorway for me to create yeah, the, the, well, the videos that mm -hmm. I want to create. And within my budget, it's ne necessary mm -hmm. to make this simple video yes. so that I could build a channel and then do the things that are bigger budget, mm. bigger studios, maybe outside the studio mm. as well. But creativity is number one thing for me. Yeah. And what gives you this creativity? How do you mean? What gives you inspiration to create? What gives me the creativity is the inspiration from other people creating, like yourself, mm -hmm. like Dana, watching mm -hmm. other people create something, mm. start small, yeah. build something big, mm -hmm. and be true to yourself. Yeah. Watching other people um, do it, mm -hmm. who are coming from a similar starting point to me, this is what gives me the license to create. Because when you see other people putting themselves out there, like yourself, mm -hmm. it gives you that inspiration to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Just like when you went to that conference and you spoke to that girl and she was like, yeah, she was open to be interviewed. You probably expected her to say no because yeah. you're just starting. Yeah. But when someone says yes and doors start to open and you see other people making content that you like yeah. and you have in your brain all these ideas mm. and you see other people doing it, mm. you're like, there's one day, I'm sure for you and for me, where you're like, okay. Let's start. Yeah. You take the first step. No yeah. What. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do the first step. That is the hardest yeah. part because I think the first step is convincing yourself that you can do it, and then everything after that is like going downhill because once you convince yourself that you can do it, then you go, okay, I can do this. Mm. Who can I get to help me film? Yeah. Yeah. Can I edit it? Who can I ask to be in it? And then you have already accepted that you can do it. And all of these decisions, they snowball. Mm. They start to build momentum and you start to get to the point where you are now yeah. in a room creating content. Mm. But the first and most important step is convincing yourself that you can do it. Believing in yourself. As yeah, you think. exactly. That's the yeah. hardest part. Yeah. The hardest part is is actually believing in yourself. Everything else, finding someone to help you film, yeah. uh, thinking of the video ideas, all of these are very easy, mm. really. Yeah. People think that they're hard, they're easy. It's easy, yeah. just to start it's hard. Yeah, exactly, to yeah. Mm -hmm. to, to believe in yourself that you can do something on YouTube, mm. or in music, or uh, art, whatever or you want. Learning yeah, learning a language. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I've tried, <laughs> yeah. Mm. But any, any skill, yeah. yeah, any skill really, if you want to be super charismatic mm. and you think there's no way 
I can walk into a room and everyone will be happier because I'm in the room. When you believe that, yes, that can happen, of course, then you start doing you it. believe it first, so mm -hmm. people can believe it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Let's close with the last question. Okay. When everything seems hope hopeless, what do you think about when hmm. you are in your lowest moments? What is the light like that helps you stand up again? That's an interesting question. I think the fact that there's a line in an Imagine Dragons song. Yes. You know Imagine Dragons? Yes. They have a song called Birds. Okay. And in that song, there's a line that says, everything is temporary. Yes. And it's something that we all know. Yeah. But it's something like, because we're scared yeah. of yeah. not being here, yeah. I think that the fact that everything is temporary, this interview mm. will be over. Yes. The day will be over at the end of the day. Um, if you're eating a nice meal, you enjoy it, but then you finish the meal. Everything in our life mm -hmm. is temporary. Every single thing. The shirt that I'm wearing, the, my, my brown hair <laughs> will soon be gray. Everything is temporary. So I think that when I have really low moments, I think that my life is temporary. This low moment is temporary. Everything I do that's great, that feels great, and everything I do that sucks, it's all temporary. It will pass. It will pass. Yeah. So if I'm getting over a breakup, mm -hmm. or if I'm on cloud nine because my video just got 2,000 views the first day, mm -hmm. that high and that low are both going to pass. Yeah. So I realize that when I'm feeling low, I need to enjoy everything because one day I will be looking back and the moment that I am in now will be a Facebook memory. Mm -hmm. 10 years ago, <laughs> you had an interview <laughs> yeah. on the Tam Show, Tom, Tom Show, Tam <laughs> Show. 10 years ago, you had an interview on the Tam Show and I think, oh my God, that was 10 years ago. Oh, That's so crazy. <laughs> and you have moments in, on Facebook memories now or mm -hmm. in your life now and you look back at pictures mm -hmm. and you get nostalgic mm -hmm. and those moments are happening now, mm. but we don't think about them until later. And when I'm low, I just think that this is gonna pass. Mm. Everything's gonna pass. All I need to do is just enjoy the ride. Yeah. And if something good happens to me, hold it. If something bad happens to me, let it go. Because that's all you can do. Mm. So those low moments are important, but also just remember that no matter how low it is, it's temporary. Yeah, it's temporary. No matter how high it is, it's temporary. That's a really wonderful answer. Mm. I think you just need to acknowledge your feeling and really accept them, you know, if yep. you're feeling really like, like a shit. Yep. Like you just need to accept it because it will pass anyway. Yep. You'll be happy in maybe tomorrow, in two days, you don't know. What yeah, or maybe happen. one hour, maybe yeah, one hour, you, get, you get a text from someone, you're like, oh! Exactly, yeah. Oh, it's, there's been so many moments in my life and everyone's life where they've been, you know, when that feeling of bricks mm. on you and there's something in your life, maybe it's your job, your relationship, uh, a conflict with someone and you just feel like these bricks are weighing you down and it feels like this feeling is going to be forever because you can't see or imagine a time in your life where you don't feel like that it takes over everything mm -hmm. and I've had that I've had a week where I didn't eat because after a breakup where I was so depressed and you feel like oh my god this is my life now yeah this is but the end. <laughs> everything passes yeah. everything passes mm -hmm. it's like it, it's going to get better everything gets back to normal yeah. eventually so I think at my lowest that one line in that Imagine Dragon song is the thing I think about. I, and that's the one that keeps me going. Everything is temporary. We have not too long in this world. So just do what you want to do. As long as what you're doing is beneficial to yourself and to people. Do what you need yeah. to do mm. and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Because there's ups and downs. Yeah. One day you're getting 2,000 views. 
the next day teenage Taylor Swift fans are spamming your video with hate comments. It, it changes from day to day and you just gotta yeah. go, go with the roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah, pathetic. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Uh, You're welcome. Thank you for having me here. This conversation that was really inspiring and I hope mm. that can inspire many people to do so. To just put themselves out there and thank you again, John. You're welcome. Have a really nice day. Thank you. Enjoy this nice grey <laughs> Saigon day. <laughs> Bye, Bye guys. Thank you for watching.